But just to let you know, I do not know what I'm doing. I am not an expert. I'm just a homeowner trying to save $3,000. Hey friends, welcome back to another Handyman Clearance where I am vlogging, we are redoing our hall bathroom. So we are on like part four or five of this series right now. And the last video, which we're recapping right now, was me installing the shower and tub valve. Um, I had to replace some piping behind the wall. I ran into some leaking, which was infuriating. But after three days of fighting with it and watching so many other people on YouTube who actually know what they're doing, I figured it out. We got it all installed. The water is running. Um, I'm not experiencing any leaks and the leaks that I did experience I had to fix them um, but it was because of a uh, user error I don't know what I'm doing in case you don't know in case the little disclosure in the beginning was confusing I do not know what I'm doing this is a vlog not a tutorial I can't tell you how I did it and I'm pretty sure it's sheer luck that I survived this so now in this video, we are going to be talking about some drywall painting and installing a new light fixture. And as of right now, I have installed the drywall right above the shower, some more wall to patch up. And we're going to go into further detail on how I accomplished that. Um, I do have to patch up this one over here. And I have to also patch up this wall over here, which I've already cut my piece. I just have to figure out how I'm going to... <clears throat> do them little holes I'm definitely going to have to put another layer on um, because my walls are a little uneven right now but that's not an issue that's not an issue I am going to have to do a lot of sanding to that part I am not looking forward to and then I need to buy the little metal piece to cover up this corner here but other than that it looks good I'm going to buy some caulking and of course caulk all of this all of that right there caulking is like my favorite thing to do i don't know why finish patching the sink oh, let me get this out of the way there's the sink all patched up all right i have the light up but i'm patching that hole right there all right, so I am not very skilled at mudding and drywall. I find it very fascinating though. So I refused for it to whip my ass, but it did. So this was my first layer. And as you can see, you can still see some of my drywall tape and it is very much uneven. So I did have to go back and I went back with like four layers trying to perfect it, but I got it pretty good. So after I fought with that for, that's gonna take like a week cause you gotta let it dry and then come back, sand it, mud it again, let it dry, it's, it's a process. So in the time of that drying, I went ahead and installed my new light fixture cause I had to shift everything to the left because of my new pantry cabinet that we're installing. And then I'm patching up the sink holes and I now have the pantry cabinet installed where it's supposed to be. So right here, this little small section is where my 24 inch sink will go and by this time I'm on layer four so I'm almost done um the contractor me and him were going back and forth on the drywall too he did not like how I was doing it but it's my damn house and if I'm okay with my lumpy and uneven walls I don't see what the problem is so he was supposed to come in and paint after me so he was pretty much waiting for me and the pressure was getting wasa okay i was losing my freaking mind so as you can see the pantry cabinet that goes all the way up the wall the light fixture or plug was right where the pantry is so that's why we had to move it closer to the door jam and we changed it out for a gcfi um i don't know my husband said it was a better choice i went and agreed with them because hell if i know i did have to install a small piece of wood though i had to install that real quick and as you can see there's the old plug right there behind the pantry we did install a flat cover over it so those wires wouldn't be exposed but they have to remain in that box because you know code house codes you can't just have wired live wires just freeing about in between the walls. So right now I'm getting my drywall tape so I can go tape up all of the seams. This is gonna help hold the mudding in 
place of all those lines that we had to cut through. I hate feeling like I'm in a rush, but I definitely was with this project just because I had to coexist with the actual contractors who know what they're doing. And of course, they're going to tell me, you know, this isn't correct or this doesn't look great. And I didn't like that part of it because I usually with most of my DIYs, it's just me, myself and I. And I'm the only judge of my work, but having actual people who know what they're doing judge my work did not feel great. But I took the constructive criticism, dust my little shoulders off, and finished the work anyway. The joint compound that I'm using, I purchased one that was already pre-mixed because I did not want to have to worry about the dust and adding water and if it's too clumpy or too runny. I went ahead and just got the pre-mixed one, so it's already in this big bucket. I think I purchased like the little five-pound bucket one. It's not they have a really really big one which I should have bought that one instead but I couldn't pick that sucker up so I just bought the smaller ones and they're in Lowe's for like 15 20 dollars and of course everything that I'm using in this video I will tag it down below now some of this stuff was purchased straight off of Amazon the light fixture that I installed over the sink was definitely from Amazon and the hardware that I'll be installing in the next video all of that was from Amazon and idea list for you guys on Amazon to check out all of the stuff we purchased just to remodel this bathroom but the end result is awesome and I just can't wait to get to that part this part this phase of the whole entire project was a headache and I was completely over it so after I finished with the drywall over the tub the sink and the light fixture the floor guy came in and installed all of the tile and I loved his work. I was completely obsessed with him and I'm definitely going to hire him again because I need tile done in my kitchen. So he did great. It looks amazing. The drywall is all up. I did a little bit of patch cleanup because the contractor came by and still didn't like my drywall. I still needed to do some caulking around the outside of the tub, which I did that off camera. So yeah, I'm obsessed with the new tile work done in the hallway in the bathroom. They did come back and do some shoe trim around the base where the floor and the baseboards meet but everything looks great y'all so the floors are done the contractor came in and um he was supposed to paint today but after he saw my handiwork with trying to repair the wall he pretty much was just like this is no good i'm not painting over it so he told me to either do another layer, sand it down a little bit better so it's more seamless, or he was gonna, I, I needed to hire his guy to come in and pretty much clean up my mess. And at first I was just gonna go with the guy to clean it up because I'm so over this project. It was not fun whatsoever. And I feel like it wasn't fun because I had to rush through it. I didn't, you know, usually most of our projects take anywhere from six months to a year. This one, I had to get it done in like a month or two and it stressed me out. So I did not like, I did not like this at all, any of it. Um, <laughs> once they left and I kind of like thought about it a little bit more, I'm just like, hell no, I'm not about to give them another $200 to just mud over it. Like maybe I just need to come at it at a different angle, like figure out how to sand it down a little bit better. Pretty much um, what you need to do is once you pick up your mud and apply it to the wall, clean off the knife and then go back with a clean taping knife to knock it down. Then once you knock down some, it's gonna take off like a nice chunk of mud because I apply a lot. I'm heavy handed with my mudding. So it, once I do that, I clean off the knife again, go back over it again to knock it down some more to get it nice and smooth as possible. So when it does dry and I have to come back and sand, I'm not sanding to the point where my arm wants to fall off. And that's what I was doing previously because I was forgetting to knock down my mud. So it looked very much caked on and just kind of just thrown on there. So this is what it's looking like now. And I think I did a pretty good job as far as knocking it down. Um, it's not dry yet. That's why it looks really dark in color. It's supposed to be white once it's completely dry. And um, once it is completely dry, I'll just go over it and sand it. But I think it looks good. Try to redo the sink just a little bit. Um, but cabinets are going to be here. So I'm like, dude, I don't give a f if this part doesn't look the best. I'm going to probably go over this part right here because you can still see my joint tape right there. But like, 
I'm not trying to make this the prettiest because all of this is going to be covered by cabinets. You're not going to see any of it. And he's probably still going to come in here and say something that he doesn't like or he feels like could have been done better. I'm pretty sure for $200, it probably could have been done better. But for the f***ing free, it's going to be done my way. And if I said I'm good with it, oh, where well, you're going to still see the lumps and that's fine. My ego just really got the best of me and that's my fault. I shouldn't have let it get to me, but... I'm just a DIYer, that's it. So trying to like coexist on this project with actual contractors has just not been fun. So I'm gonna go ahead and end on this note because I'm tired. Um, I'm gonna let this dry overnight. I'm gonna come back in the morning, sand it down. Sorry y'all, I just had to rant for a minute because that's literally how frustrating this project has been for me. But right here, I'm showing you the laundry room because this is where the lot water had leaked down and ruined the laundry room. We changed the color to grizzly gray, which I am obsessed with, that I am also going to uh, paint the hallway grizzly gray. Now this I'm gonna have to do myself. It's outside of the insurance um, that we got covered. The laundry room was part of the insurance. So the contractors paint the laundry room room and then I'm going to paint the hallway grizzly gray and on the opposite wall I'm going to do ice cube with a which is a really light blue color and it it looks great it looks amazing I'm also going to change out all of the hardware to black right now I have mitch match gold and silver so I want everything in the house to now have a black finish and once I this dries overnight for the drywall the contractors are going to come back and repaint but I'm gonna go ahead and paint my hallway this is what I used to paint this is the color grizzly gray by Sherwin Williams I picked it up from Lowe's you can also pick it up from a Sherwin Williams store but I find that I save a little bit more money going to Lowe's rather than Sherwin Williams and this is just a little painting montage I just threw this in here to kind of like calm myself down because I did hit level 10 for a minute <laughs> it was embarrassing but it happens and it's okay I'm I'm working on being better and the constructive criticism was definitely hard to take. What he said was not wrong. And I realized that, but I was still hurt. My feelings were hurt. So here is the grizzly gray color finished with two coats and it looks amazing. I'm going to allow it to dry overnight and leave it alone, but I love it. So the contractors finally did come back and this is what the bathroom looks like. For the bathroom color, we did the color Nuance and that one is also by Sherwin-Williams. I only use Sherwin-Williams colors. In the next video, we are going to go over painting the cabinets. As you can see, they are mismatch. One is white and one is gray. So of course, as always, I'm going to give you the budget of everything that I spent for supplies just for this video alone, the paint, the drywall, joint compound, all that stuff, the light fixture, everything came up to a total of $244.42 before taxes. Thank you guys for joining us on a, another video. If you would like to see more content like this, do not forget to hit that like button and subscribe to check out the other previous videos in this series and to catch the last ones. We are almost done with this project. Be blessed and be safe.